Good morning boys and girls. I hope you're all keeping well and have enjoyed this first lovely week of spring. Some of you might be very excited today about starting back to school tomorrow and seeing all your lovely friends. And some of you might have a little bit longer to wait and you might be really missing your friends right now. So today I want you to think about what makes a good friend. Can you have a little think for me? A good friend might be someone who plays with us, who takes turns with us and shares with us. Or a good friend might be someone who makes us laugh. A good friend might be someone who knows how to be kind, who we can trust, who is patient with us and who knows how to forgive when we make mistakes. Being a good friend can be really tricky sometimes. Sometimes we say things before we think about it and our words can be hurtful at times. In today's story, Peter spoke before he had time to think and he was not the best friend that he could be to Jesus. But Jesus is the best friend that anyone can have and he knows how to forgive. I hope you enjoyed today's story. The Friend Who Forgives, a true story about how Peter failed and Jesus forgave. A long time ago there was a man named Peter who was best friends with Jesus. Peter was a fisherman. He was strong and brave but he often said the wrong thing. Do you ever talk before you think? That's what Peter did, again and again and again. Peter loved fish. In fact, one day he and Jesus had fish for breakfast. Fish for breakfast? That's very weird but we will leave that part of the story until the end. On the day when Jesus first called Peter to follow him, can you guess what Peter was doing? That's right, Peter was fishing. Follow me and I will make you a fisher of men, Jesus told him. Can you imagine that? Peter fishing for men? But Jesus explained that just as Peter liked to search for fish, Jesus had come to search for people who needed forgiveness. Peter loved being friends with Jesus. He saw Jesus do lots of amazing things. One time, Peter's mother-in-law was sick and Jesus healed her. Another time, Peter was about to drown in a storm and Jesus saved him. Slowly, Peter realised that Jesus was more than a friend. He was God and he would never let Peter down. But sometimes, Peter let Jesus down. Like the time Jesus explained to his friends that he had to die on the cross but that he would come back to life to offer forgiveness. All of you will run away. You're going to say that you are not my friends, Jesus said. Peter spoke up right away. He liked to do that a lot. I will never do that, Peter said. But Jesus told him, before the rooster crows in the morning, you will say three times that you are not my friend. I would never do that. Jesus is my best friend, Peter thought. When the soldiers came to take Jesus to the cross, Peter pulled out his sword to stop them. Put your sword away, Peter, Jesus said. My father says that this must happen. Jesus let the soldiers take him to a courtyard to stand trial. 
Peter followed from far away. Aren't you one of Jesus' friends? A young girl asked as she opened a gate for Peter to enter the courtyard. Hmm, what do you think Peter said? No, I don't know Jesus. It was a cold night, so Peter walked over to a fire where some people were warming themselves. Aren't you one of Jesus' friends? Someone asked Peter. What do you think? Peter said. No, I don't know Jesus. Then someone else stepped forward and looked closely at Peter. Yes, you are one of Jesus' friends, aren't you? He said. What do you think Peter said this time? No, I don't know Jesus. Right then, at that very moment, a rooster crowed. Jesus turned round and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said, Before the rooster crows, you will say three times that you are not my friend. Peter was so sad. He knew he had failed Jesus again and again and again. He didn't just need to find other people who needed forgiving. He needed to be forgiven too. Peter felt terrible. He ran out of the courtyard and he cried and cried and cried. Peter had let his best friend down and now it was too late because the soldiers had taken Jesus away to be killed. But Peter didn't stay sad because Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days later was the first Easter Sunday when Jesus came back to life to offer people forgiveness. But would he forgive P Peter for failing so badly? One day, Jesus went looking for Peter. And where do you think Jesus found him? That's right. Peter and his friends were fishing. Jesus called to them from the beach. Peter jumped out of the boat and into the water and rushed to the beach to see Jesus. And this is where Jesus and Peter had fish for breakfast. Peter was so happy to see Jesus alive. But would Jesus forgive him? Peter wasn't so sure. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to talk to him. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to be friends with him anymore. But yes, Jesus did want to talk to Peter. And yes, Jesus did want to forgive Peter. Wow, what a forgiving friend. And since Peter had said he didn't know Jesus three times, Jesus gave Peter the chance to say three times, I love you, Jesus. That's how Peter became a forgiven fisher of men. Peter spent the rest of his life telling people all about his best friend, Jesus. He told them that if they put their trust in Jesus, that he will always forgive them again and again and again. That's because Jesus was Peter's best friend. He forgave him again and again and again. And if you put your trust in Jesus, he will forgive you too. Again and again and again. Okay, everybody, for today's activity, I would like you to think of five friends. 
five friends that you have really been missing during this time and are looking forward to seeing very soon. Okay, I would like you to create a little rainbow of hope and inside each colour I would like you to write the name of one of your friends. Okay, you can make this with paper or card or you can use crayons, paint, colouring pencils or be as creative as you like. I really hope you have fun with this activity and that you enjoy the song that's coming up next, My Lighthouse. <laughs> Before us, you're the 